Welcome to this video uh, tutorial on Vegas, Introduction to Vegas. We're going to make a, a very um, easy video, but it can be a lot of fun just to get things started and learn the software. And I'm going to try to do this in 10 minutes or less so I can put this tutorial on YouTube. Um, basically, what we're going to do is make a video with pictures, a little music, and some text. And I want to introduce some key things to Vegas as I go. There's some some of my editing t uh, tips. So I'm going to put this on the side for myself and you can look at yours. Oh, look, there's the finished project. So I opened up Sony Vegas. I did a new project. Whatever, I don't need to save this. File new, no. Um, and first thing you'll notice, um, I've kind of scrunched all my panels down here, but yours, you can spread them out. These things can dock and undock, so you can grab them and move them out and like my video preview window a lot of times that's kind of nice to put that on your other screen um, but one thing that will happen is sometimes when you have these open you'll just close them like that and then you're like oh my god I can't see my preview anymore so just go to view video preview and you can notice all your other sorts of ones explorer and video preview mixer that's your audio level a lot of these are key transitions special effects so turn that video preview back I'm gonna dock mine for this video keep mine in place and next thing is now we need pictures. So either use all the pictures of the kids in the class, if, um, if I already took those and I've, I've made a folder for you, and you're going to do a project with everybody's photo and you're going to learn their names, or um, you can do a project, if this is like in the middle of the year and you're doing this, on anything you want. And so you have to go out and download the pictures, maybe go to your Facebook page or go to Google. And you want to get around 10 or so pictures to make this project kind of interesting. Once you have that, you come over to your Explorer panel, and if it's not open, go to View, Explorer. Mine's already open. Then you can go to My Computer, and then wherever you save those pictures, um, hopefully you save your pictures in your H drive, but you can also save them in your C drive. And I've got mine here. And as you click them on the left, it opens up a separate window with all the pictures. Now, a nice little feature with the Explorer is you can preview your pictures by turning this little thing on, Auto Preview. Then when you touch the picture, it'll automatically pop up over here, and it'll say it'll give you a preview of it. Say, okay, let's use that. So I just drag that picture and drop it in my timeline. It automatically creates a track. This is a video track, and if I wanted to, I could give it a name. As you get into more sophisticated projects, you might want to do that. And I'll just grab a few more pictures just to get things rolling here. Pictures of my niece in Snow White. So I'm just going to do three pictures to get it started. And notice this little refresh thing. If you're like um, downloading pictures as you go, sometimes you have to hit refresh to get the new files to show up. And next thing I want to show you is the stupid refresh thing. Hurry up. Get that back. Um, preview mode auto. That will make or preview mode full will be like high quality preview mode, whatever you want to do. Sometimes if your computer's going a little slow, you could reduce the quality of the preview to speed it up. So I want to show you how to do transitions. A couple simple ways. One way is you just grab the picture, see how I can slide it, smash it into the one next to it. It automatically makes a cross dissolve. See that? To press play, by the way, hit the space bar or the play button. Boom. I want to make it longer, smash them in. Mm, sweet. Um, I want to make this picture stay up longer on the screen. Grab the edge, pull it out. Now it's longer. Now it's shorter. Woo woo. Let's do. Let's say I don't even want to do this. This crosses off all the time. Let's do a fancier transition. Come over to your transition panel. Got mine open right here. There's a ton of transitions built in with Vegas. Give me a little previews. How about the old barn door? Cool. Grab it, and then just apply it to the existing transition that I've already created and then it will take over and you can even adjust it more if you want or just leave the default settings and now woo barn door um, let's say I want to do a fade up at the very beginning I don't have another picture to, to smash it into grab up to the here to the top left corner and then boom pull it over and now you've changed the opacity so it starts black and comes up to full opacity and basically what I'm doing is if you grab any picture or video track at the very top, you can grab that line and pull it down, and you can change the opacity level, making it darker or lighter. And I'm doing this, I'm just grabbing the edge and then sliding it over to make like a fade to black. Okay, that's transitions. Um, next up, let's do some text. So to add text, I'm going to insert, right-click, insert a new video track, 
and then I'm going to come over to here and I'm going to say insert text media box pops up you type whatever you want fam back family vacation I notice I'm seeing my preview I like to have both these up at the same time and if you're not seeing the preview you may have to adjust your playhead like if my playhead was over here so I click this back to make sure my playhead which is right here is showing me the text so I get a live view of how it looks there's four tabs um, inside this family inside the text placement allows me to grab it and move it wherever I want now traditionally you always want your text down in the lower thirds especially when you're doing things like this where you're labeling so kinda of on the lower thirds of the screen and the other thing is that traditionally um, white text tends to look the best so I'm gonna keep my text color white you see I could change it if I wanted to yuck so I'll just keep it white thank you and then effects white text or whatever color you use it looks almost always looks better if you put an edge around it so I'm gonna grab the outline and I'm gonna give it a black edge it looks so much better and then I even a drop a little draw a little drop shadow you can mess with your shadow so that's text now if you were to put this text underneath the picture what happens while well, the picture is on top so you don't see the text anymore so you always have to put you want to put your text on top and notice the reason you're seeing all those checkerboards because it's saying that the the text is transparent so I'm a lot I'm seeing everything through this track except the letters that's why the letters are appearing on top of the pictures so you can do that I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it over here and it's gonna say do I wanna do a reference to the original or do I wanna do a brand new copy I wanna do a brand new copy and then I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna adjust it so it's in the right spot and I'm gonna change what it says by clicking and right on that green thing now if you can't see that green thing if you're if you're zoomed out and I'm zooming out by scrolling my mouse if you scroll your mouse in and out if you're like this you may have to zoom in click on that and then it pops it back up and then you can write you know whatever you want and then you can change your placement or something I did the copy paste so that way I'll have a consistent text over and over again it'll be the same you can do however you want, change the colors, make it interesting, whatever, have some fun with it. And I'm going to adjust that stuff. So now I want to do some music. So go download a song, wherever you have, or maybe you already have some. I'm going to bring this back in. Um, just to remind you, if you haven't noticed this at the top, I've got some really good resources for you, websites to download music. Free Play Music, Purple Planet, Royalty Free, these are all good ones. Um, so download a song or maybe you have one and I am just going to use something that I have in my existing drive get over there or how about my my docs my music uh, sure sample music Beethoven so I'm just gonna grab the mp3 track and drag it down and drop it in place and boom there it is now I'm scrolling out because the song's a lot longer. So let's say I didn't I wanted the part of the song here where it picked up, so I don't want that first part. I could just grab this and slide it over. Or I could click here and hit S. S will split it in half. Now I can just delete that part with my delete key. And let's say I delete it a little too much. I can grab it and pull it back and that music will come back out. So it does not really permanently delete it. And let's say I want my music to fade up. Zoop. And then I want it to fade out at the end. So I grab it to match it up. And notice that little blue line kind of comes and shows me. And now my music will fade out along with the pictures. Yay, perfect. And we only got a minute left here, so I better hurry up. So I haven't saved it yet, so go ahead and save that file. Now one thing, when you save these files, they're saved as Vegas files. I'll just say this practice. Vegas files are not, and I repeat, this is really important, they're not the the video file itself that you can watch later like on, on YouTube or Windows Media Player or whatever the Vegas files are just meant to bring back all the editing and the changes so when I really want to watch this video I'm gonna to need to render it and um, and then we're gonna upload it to YouTube after that I'm gonna do that in part two so this is enough for this video I think you got the hang of it